Hello everyone, my name is Swamir Powdell. I am a customer success engineer from infrastructure department here at Digital Network Solution DNS. Welcome to our technical how to guide series. In this video, we are going to show you unboxing and mounting of Nutanix HCI block. Uh, we will be showing you how fast we can complete the initial configuration and deployment process. Uh, so let's get started. This is our Nutanix box uh, that came. Uh, we have got power two cup two power cables uh, that came with the box uh, for this setup. And then we also have uh, the required number of SFPs that was provided by Nutanix. Uh, so with a box of Nutanix, we get two rails uh, where we can mount the, our Nutanix block. Okay, so for mounting, I will need help from my friend. So I will call Kumar Kumar for this task. So uh, let's go mount. So for the configuration, first I will have to configure my laptop. My laptop should be on the same network as the network I will be providing in my Nutanix block. That is my ASV or CVM. So I will quickly do that first. So here I will put the IP address uh, that I will be putting in my Nutanix block. Okay, so after this I'll open Portable Foundation. This Portable Foundation is downloadable from Nutanix support portal. You can download it from there. Here this is the first start step. Here we are supposed to uh, select our hardware. Then we'll uh, select our net mask for every host CVM and IPMI. Do that here. This is my net mask. So I'll provide gateway. This IPMI is our management interface. So it comes really handy when we are troubleshooting if anything arises. So I'll go to uh, add a new interface. Well, I'll be providing it with uh, Ethernet here. I'll go next. So this is my second step where you'll be searching for nodes. All those nodes uh, that it can find will be available here. So it uses IPv6 broadcast for doing this. I'll just range autofill here. This range autofill is really easier when there are lots of nodes that are to be configured. So it just autofills everything here. I will quickly feel everything here. And, and, okay, we can go to next step now. Next step is our cluster step. So here I'll provide my cluster name. So this name will be the name of the cluster. select time zone it will be the uh, zone from where I am 
RF2. So I'll provide cluster virtual IP. So this virtual IP is the Prism Element IP from which we'll be opening our web console. Paste is optional. I'll go next. So this is AOS. So uh, here AOS is also available in support portal. So I've already added that and it's the latest one. So I'll just remove and I'll go on next. So here we have to select hypervisor. So ASV comes bundled with AOS. So it automatically selects from AOS. I'll go next. So there's the sixth and last step of IPMI. I'll fill it with Nutanix defaults. So the default username and password will be applicable. The password is the node serial number. So I'll go next. So after this uh, installation will be started. So there is a simple six step process from which we can install foundation and then our Nutanix block will be up and running. So as you can see, the installation is in progress. Uh, first thing it does is provisioning network. Uh, it will take, uh, it doesn't take more than 30 minutes to complete the whole process. So uh, it's pretty fast. So I'll just skip this and uh, we'll fast forward. So you can see the operation is completed for node progress. Now the cluster is also formed. So now we are ready to go. We can check our logs for the whole installation here. So I'll click there so that it goes directly to cluster VIP and I'll open the web console. So this is our initial console that is open after installation. So the username and password will be default here that will be provided by Nutanix in default. Okay, now we are, uh, we are asked to change our password, so I'll do that quickly. Okay, I'll log in again. Uh, this is the initial piece. I have this I'll put on uh, DNS there, uh, the company name, then I'll put job title and I'll accept this. I'll continue here. Okay, so this is the main page of our prism element. Uh, this is the first home page that we will see. So this is the dashboard you are looking at. So that's it. The installation is completed. Thank you for your patience of watching this. Thank you everyone.